Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and I'm going to talk about the movie Fresh, which is now available streaming only on Hulu as it is a Hulu original film. Uh, the movie starts out with our main character, Noah, who is on a date with random scarf guy, who is kind of nostalgic for a time period when women did X, Y, and Z, which is not really the most ideal thing you want to be discussing on a first date or a blind date. It appears that she found this lovely fellow through a dating app and um, unfortunately uh, has to sit out the remainder of her meal with him and politely declines uh, any further contact, which I don't blame her. And she does something which I thought was like as a woman watching this, I thought was really accurate when she's going to her car she is very, very hyper aware of everything around her. She has her keys out and she's kind of panicking as she gets closer and closer to her car. This is a real fear for women and it's probably a trauma response, but we identify footsteps and any weird sounds we hear and just panics completely till she gets to her car. Luckily, it's just some dude walking around with his little baby and a baby Bjorn gets in her car, goes... She ends up meeting uh, who we find out is Steve at a grocery store in a produce section. And he's kind of like weird and goofy and trying to just use any cheesy line he can think of to get her to laugh. And of course, that gets her interested. They uh, end up going on some dates and she decides to go to a getaway with him. And her best friend, Molly's kind of just like, mm, I don't know, like, are you sure? I'd like proof of life because she gets a little icky feeling from this. Also, you know, being well versed in today's dating culture. So the, the part that I can talk about up until the spoilers is probably the title sequence. And it, it like I forgot that we didn't get a title sequence until it actually happened. And that's when things just like completely change. The dynamic completely changes. And unfortunately, it is with Steve slipping something in uh, Noah's drink, which that's like everyone's number one fear, isn't it? You know, you're on a... You, you, well, they were supposed to go get away. And then he was like, oh, the traffic's so bad. We'll just go to my house. Like that's that's a red flag right there. I get he comes off as a really nice, charming guy, but like... Girl, no, don't do that. You shouldn't have done that. But I have to leave it there as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? I liked that there were a lot of things that as um, a woman in this era, I could relate to, which aren't necessarily good things to relate to. Like the dating pool is terrible, you know, pretty much at any age, I feel like. It's just really hard. I'm so glad that I am not dating at all. I am married. I don't have to worry about this necessarily because I think if he would have made a move, he would have done it by now and I would have fought him off like a final girl. I know you're watching this in editing. It's a joke. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Um, I liked that uh, the acting performances seemed really genuine from everyone and they reacted definitely appropriate to the situation. Like, you're going to be hysterical for a little bit once this certain something happens. And it's going to take you a little bit to come to terms with it and then try to figure out, like, what are your steps for survival and helping others potentially that could be in the same situation. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, there wasn't a lot of gore in this. But when it did happen, it was so satisfying and I thought it looked like it was really well done. Um, definitely not the movie I thought I was in for and that was a really pleasant surprise. But also, I was really anxious watching this entire movie. Like, kind of putting myself in Noah's shoes was horrible and just you're so anxious because you don't know what she's going to do because there's a lot of like little Easter eggs hidden in while you're watching the scene and you're just waiting for the moment. Like, is she going to do it now? Like what's going to happen next? How is he going to react? What are we doing? Who's this lady? You know, 
All, all sorts of fun things. Uh, what did I not like about this movie? Oh, another like. Um, the song choices were amazing and kind of added a little bit of humor to it, if you know what I mean. It gave me a little bit of, like, hip to be a square Patrick Bateman dancing around. A lot of that vibe, actually. That Maybe that was a nod to this. Who knows? Um, what did I not like about this movie? I, I felt like sometimes they dwelled too much in certain settings and they didn't show us like enough of a facility that they were in. I would have liked more of a, a layout that I could visualize. Like if you go here, this is where you can get out or like this is where kind of like how things are set up. Like I, that's probably just a personal thing, but I, I would have liked just to see a little bit more, um, maybe a little bit bit more of Steve's background, particularly one that he keeps mm -hmm. hidden for quite a while, and especially from Noah through the entire movie. That would have been interesting. Maybe that could leave us open to another, like a prequel or a sequel, something like that. That would be very interesting. I was, did like I said, I was disappointed that there wasn't a lot of gore, but like when it happened, it really happened. I was very happy for that. It's interesting seeing uh, Sebastian Stan in this role because I feel like my my timeline with him at least went from like Winter Soldier to him as Tommy Lee, whom I absolutely hated his character. I hated him so much. I really hope Tommy Lee wasn't that bad, but like also he probably was that bad, but like I hated him so much in that series. That's also a really good series, which is on Hulu, a subtle plug there. Very cool. Um, it was so weird to see him like this. It was like a, it really shows that he has like some pretty badass range and I was here for it. Um, I like that, uh, it didn't necessarily make Noah or any potential female character in this movie, like a helpless, like the, the princess in a tower waiting to be saved because it took a very modern twist where like we, we can save ourselves we're good like even though maybe people try and they get wigged out and leave like we can still handle it like you just have to watch this movie to get all of the things i'm talking about and then like come back and watch this again and be like yeah okay or yeah no i don't know what this lady's talking about that's whatever um i really liked this movie I, I hope that this is the direction where Hulu uh, made horror movies are going because I'm here for it. I feel like they're taking a nod definitely from Netflix in that aspect, which is great because I want to see more and more great horror this year. I am ready. It is my year. Like, let's do this. What would I rate this movie? I'd probably give this like a 3.5. There's things I would change. There's things I absolutely loved about it, but I had a really good time watching it. I would definitely watch it again. I had some issues with certain pacing in the film, which that's just like, that's a personal attention issue, but I felt like I was pretty engaged throughout most of the movie. As I said, I found this streaming on Hulu. I, I feel like they're doing this thing now where they eventually release streaming films into a physical copy where you can pick up at like Target or whatever. So keep your eye out for that if you don't have Hulu. Also, like, what do you do if you don't have Hulu? Like, what do you watch? Let me know. I watch a lot of Tubi and Pluto as well, obviously. We have a lot of streaming services and I feel like there's not just one that I really go to because they're all different and some of them just have a really crappy horror selection which is usually Hulu now that I'm thinking about it like good on you um anyways what did you think about this movie leave me your thoughts down below in a comment uh give me some comments of other Sebastian Stan films that you think I would enjoy or like did you also hate him and Pam and Tommy let me know if you liked the video, please do give it a like. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as Reviews with the Groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. 
Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'm going to go heat up my lunch for something fresh. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Bye!